moment of inertia. So what is exactly this term means in engineering that we are going to talk today. You are watching Engineering Minutes and welcome to Engineering Minutes. Every single day. Imagine on one quiet day you are going in bus with some speed and suddenly from nowhere there is a crowd so your bus driver break the bus now you are sitting in a bus because of this break your body leans toward front this is because your body possesses some mass and your body is still in motion with respect to bus with application of external braking force your body resist this change and property of resisting change of state by mass is known as inertia so you can take other example also take there is a box of mass m if we want to move it with some acceleration then we have to apply some force f again mass is resisting the change of state so if there is larger mass then larger force will required and if there is smaller mass then smaller force will be required this is again can be explained by newton's second law of motion which says f is equal to mass times acceleration this talks about the linear motion so what about angular motion so in the case of angular motion on the mass is not resisting property of state in that case distance of mass distribution from center of gravity is also important so we assume mass distribution with number of particles say one particle is here and its distance from the center of gravity is about radius r so resisting property of change in state is defined for angular motion as mass multiplied by radius multiplied by radius so this property is known as moment of inertia again in case of rotation if we want to bring this disk in angular motion from steady state or steady position then we have to apply some torque and what the value of this torque so the value of torque will be moment of inertia multiplied by some angular acceleration this is exactly same analogous equation for linear motion which says f is equal to ma where f is replaced by torque mass is replaced by moment of inertia and linear acceleration is replaced by angular acceleration so i hope you have now more clear understanding about moment of inertia if you like this video then don't forget to share it and like press the bell icon so you get regular update and hit the subscribe button over here you can like our facebook page where we put every day new fact you can also contact via gmail account you can also follow our instagram page on which we put fact every day thank you